Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H, and today in the project, we're gonna be looking at what's underneath the battery tray of a Jeep ZJ. Now, because the underside of the battery tray was so disgusting in Beach Jeep, I figured since I had the general all apart already, I might as well just lift up the battery tray, see what I'm working with, and well, since I'm back in black, that's a dead giveaway. Dead yeah, giveaway. You know we're gonna be doing some poor 15 today. So let's take a look, I'll show you what I found. So the whole time I was working on this front bumper, this battery tray bolt was winking me right in the eye <laughs> and it was looking pretty rusty. So I wanted to check out what else was rusty in and around the battery tray area. And well, I'm glad I took a look because we got some rot starting to happen. It's just flaking and falling apart down there. And this will require poor 15. Um, I definitely had a little bit of a problem taking out the battery tray because it has four 10 millimeter bolts, two in the front and two in the side, which was no biggie. Uh, three out of the four came out very well, but that one that was rusted in the front, it just spun and stripped. So that was a problem to take off. Um, and another problem was down in here is I believe what was left of a seven millimeter bolt and that fastener goes right through the frame, or unibody, right through to there. And you can definitely see the rust really bad up in there. So that was completely seized on, and I had to drill it out. And then I finally broke the battery tray free. So we are going to scrub all this up and POR15 it but I'm out of brushes, so we're gonna run to Home Depot real quick and get some cheap brushes. Before we hit the road, check out the fasteners I cleaned up and painted. Now all these went in the tumbler, and then I hit them with some brake clean to get any oils off, and painted them up. It came out really nice. Even the sway bar mounts pretty good. So this is ready to go back together. Oh, let me show you what else came out good. Here's all the other parts. Nice and dry, nice and cured. Pour 15. I pour 15 these probably the same day that Bug pour 15 the floor pan of Bug's Buggy. If you guys haven't checked out Bug, go check out Bug's Life. She's got a great XJ, and it's just like Beach Jeep. They are twins. Only mine's getting 20s. <laughs> all right, let's hit the road. All right, we're on our way to Home Depot, and we got our little helper with us. <laughs> you ready to go shopping? Yeah! Yeah! Yay! You remember what we gotta get? <laughs> Paint brushes for what? <laughs> All right, let's get them. Yeah. All right, this is what you need for poor 15. A bunch of these crappy economy brushes, because you could just chuck them when you're done with them. Uh, come. Yeah, here, hold that. Okay. Okay, let's go. All right. We got our brushes, and we got our pre-Pour 15 power-up. So, uh, <laughs> Pour 15. Pour 15. So cheers, Bug. Gotta get that monster in you before you do Jeep work. Yeah. We're gonna Pour 15? Yeah. Yeah, you wanna Pour 15 still? Yeah, and I still wanna paint the car with you. You were gonna paint. Daddy just has to stop at Ace Hardware really quick to get some bolts. Well, I want to stay in here. You want to stay in the car? No, we got to come in. Can't leave you in the car. Why? Because Daddy will get arrested. I want you to get arrested. <laughs> well, then you have to come in with me. All right, Ace Hardware is definitely the place to go when you need hardware. Home Depot sucks with hardware. Check these out. We got some grade eight bolts, three eighths inch diameter, 16 threads per inch. I can't tell you what they're for right now. It shall be revealed to you at the proper time. It shall be revealed to you at the proper time. Great. All right, let's get back to work. All 
All right, so we're back and we're gonna clean up this under the battery tray area. Now, it's not terrible. It's, it's not gonna need any major repairs. I'm just gonna pour 15 it and be done with it. I like how it's all open underneath the battery tray. Unlike Beach Jeep, this prevents rot by just having it be open. And the ZJ's, unlike the XJ, also has this vacuum line that plugs into a vacuum reservoir that's hidden underneath this battery tray. And I think this controls cruise control on all ZJ models, but only the heater control options on, on models that didn't have the electronic controls. And we also have to unplug this battery temperature sensor. <laughs> I'm not sure what it does. Maybe somebody could let me know, but uh, I'm just gonna unplug this and get this out of the way. All right, battery tray is out. I got this uh, tripod teetering on the uh, radiator fan and the AC compressor, so I hope it doesn't fall. I've dropped tripods before. I've dropped tripods on uh, very expensive vehicles. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll show you that footage, but uh, all right, I'm gonna Dan H this thing. That's right, I made myself a verb. <laughs> There's some scaling in between the seam that I don't know if I'll be able to get at. I'm going to try to go underneath and hit it from the bottom. First, I'm going to try to drill out this broken fastener. See, this is what you want. When you drill, you want long strands of metal to peel back. That's how you know you got the right pressure and the right speed. All right, well, that did not budge that fastener, so we're going to uh, kick it up to a larger diameter. So this thing comes out. So this is all that's left of the fastener that I had to drill out. That was originally at the bottom of the battery tray. Um, that's garbage. Bye bye. And I got this. I think this resembles what should have been there. This is a eight millimeter head. So I'm just gonna enlarge this hole a little bit more and then we'll get a tap for this thing. All right, last round of drilling. All right, so before we start tapping the hole, just want to make sure this fits again. Double check it. This is nice and smooth, M6 by one. So that's what we want to use. <laughs> this is why you don't buy Harbor Freight. Yep, there she blows. Oh, look at that. Cheap tools, man. Twisted this tap really bad. Right, we'll see if I cut enough threads to get that fastener in. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. It works. I'm gonna do one more thing while I'm in here. It's gonna take my step up bit and I'm gonna make this rust hole look OEM. <laughs> there we go. Nice, beautiful hole. Take that rot. All right, you can see where I POR 15 where the uh, sway bar mounts right under here. And this is where the battery tray is. That's all rusty up there. This is rot up here. And there's even some up there. So I'm going to go to town, scrub all this up. Going to have to move you out of the way for this one. There's just no room up under here. And uh, clean it all up and check up with you in a minute. Uh, all right, I'm all fogged up and covered in ZJ rust. But I just went ham under here. Uh, let me show you what I did. Oh, don't look at me. Gross. Forward face, forward face. Haha, <laughs> got it. All right, 
all up under here. So now I'm gonna scrub it by hand, get all the dirt off. And I'm gonna scrub up here too. Then prep for paint. Ugh. Let's go cleaner. Degrease, baby, do your thing. Big boop. You too. Take it. Take it. So now I'm scrubbing the unibody and the engine bay of the ZJ. And I bet you're wondering, how far am I going to take this? Well, the question is not how far. The question is, do you possess the constitution? The depth of faith to go as far as is needed. That's exactly right. If I see a need, I'm going to have to address it because it's easier to do it now while it's all apart other than waiting till it becomes a problem and then you have to retake apart everything. Uh, might as well just nip it in the bud right now. So, a few more scrubbins and I'm going to start prepping for pour 15. Let's step it up with my pour 15 cleaner degreaser. Give it another quick scrub. Now for the metal etching prep. Just going to soak this area again. And then, I'm going to let it air dry. All right, journal's looking nice and clean. Uh, that's good. Bad news is it's getting dark and uh, still not dry enough to paint. So I'm gonna use a little friend to help speed up this process. Roasty toasty. The most important thing I wanna do is get these seams nice and dry. This is where I think the rust will give me the most problems. All right, my hope is also that when I burn up the uh, remaining moisture that it'll also burn off any oils or other residue to help the pour 15 stick even more. All right, it's time to do it. It's almost dark, but we're gonna get it in. So I don't have to do too much stirring because I just used it a couple days ago. And, uh... <laughs> Bug, you are right. This stuff smells good. One thing about these cheapo Home Depot brushes, you're gonna wanna beat the crap out of them before you actually use it, because the bristles, well, they're cheap, and they're prone to falling out. And you don't want bristles in your nice paint job. So give this a good beat down, uh, maybe run it under some water, dry it really good, Get all the loose bristles off, like this. Ugh. I forgot to tape up my new holes. Ugh. That hole has threads in it. Scheiße. Scheiße. I'm gonna go heavy where these seams are in the unit body because uh, I want this to bond with the metal as far deep as possible because the goal is, of course, to prevent future rusting. So I'm gonna go ahead, get in there nice and deep like. Get in there nice and deep like. And we'll hope it does the trick. And again, <laughs> if you get any of this stuff on your skin, take care of it immediately. I still. <laughs> I still have some Pora 15 on my forearms from a couple days ago. Does not come off. I should even be wearing long sleeves, but it was warm out today and I just didn't do it. So there. If I get dealt with, I get dealt with. If I get dealt with, I get dealt with. That quote is for Bug, my fellow Friday fan. Once again, if you guys don't follow Bug and it's a Bug's Life, go check it out. Bug has got an awesome Cherokee, and she's doing great things with it. Bug and Bugs Boo, great people. They got great chemistry on camera, 
and there. A trip to watch. Very fun. Very entertaining. Don't want to miss a spot. And I don't want to miss a spot. <laughs> oh man, what I wouldn't do to listen to some good tunes right now. Uh, the plight of copyright infringement. Yeah, yeah. Got a brush bristle down there. But, doesn't matter. Because no one's ever going to see this. The battery tray is going back on. This is not for looks. This is pure rust prevention. And I think that's it. Just going to get a little bit more on this unibody piece right here. Right now. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna climb up underneath. And that's the messy part. I gotta go lay down on all the drips I just made. So uh, hopefully that Corona light box took care of most of it. I'll put something new to lay on and hopefully it doesn't drip in my face. <laughs> two seconds, two seconds in I get dripped on. <laughs> Mother! All right, guys, you know what? That's looking pretty good for tonight. Gonna check back with you in the morning. We'll see how she came out.